Hi, I'm Richard and I'm a PhD student at the Heart Research Institute. I'm a member of the Applied Materials Group and the Translational Research Group, um, and we look into uh, medical devices for cardiovascular applications. So my research uh, centers around uh, stem cells. Uh, and so stem cells are these uh, really important cells in your body because they can turn into any organ found uh, within the human body. And specifically what my project works on is developing a way to visualize these cells um, as they're injected into your body. This is, this is just like a brand new field of research because uh, so stem cells have often been used uh, in current therapies just standalone, kind of just by themselves. Uh, Where you know, biomaterial scaffolds have also been used just by themselves. And um, you know, we kind of came up with the innovative idea to combine these two hot topics and see whether or not they can kind of complement one another uh, and not only improve um, you know, the respective fields individually, but together form a brand new form of research uh, that can help elevate stem cell therapy as we know it. Stem cells can practically turn into any organ uh, throughout the body. And so currently the stem cell therapy is not just being used for cardiovascular disease, but also diseases um, such as uh, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. So this tool that we've developed is to, in hopes of um, um, improving upon current stem cell therapy in all those different fields of, of medical research. So I reason that there should be a way that we can track these stem cells um, throughout the body as they interact with uh, medical devices um, in order to be able to make sure that these devices are working the way that we intend them to. Non-invasive means that we don't have to kind of re-operate on you, um, as in the moment that we inject these stem cells into your body, um, it's just kind of a one and done surgery. We don't need to go back in and kind of assess where they are. Um, once we've injected them into you, we can then just um, image in real time like how they're interacting with your body and never have to kind of have that secondary procedure. So current uh, technology involves using things such as like MRIs or CAT scans and um, not only are these like really expensive, um, but they're also very hard to operate, um, especially for something um, such as, you know, imaging these small stem cells that we're trying to visualize. Um, and so this method that we've developed is, is a very easy and, and rapid tool um, to, to overcome those two issues. So I'd just like to thank the donors for their continued support. Uh, without this funding, um, we wouldn't be able to do the science uh, that we do uh, and make the impact on people's lives um, that we've had. During this tax time, I encourage you to donate to our research to um, further advance our science and to help us uh, save lives.